Today, a Parkland parent in Washington, D.C., where he'll be talking with lawmakers about gun violence. And it comes as lawmakers move closer to signing a bill on gun safety. CBS 4's Deborah Souverain joins us live from Miami to explain Deborah. Maribel Lincindis, with the ongoing negotiations into what this federal package should include, local families here in South Florida who know this pain firsthand are urging lawmakers to consider the Luke and Alex Safety Act. It's named after two victims of the Parkland, Parkland shooting, rather, Luke Hoyer and Alex Schachter. Now, it's Alex's father, Max Schachter, who is scheduled to testify before the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee today around 10 o'clock this morning. Now, his son, Alex, Alex was murdered during the Parkland shooting, and he's been advocating for gun reform for years as a member of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Public Safety Commission. Now, the agreement that lawmakers have reached does not include provisions that Democrat lawmakers have pushed for, such as raising the age to purchase an assault weapon, but it would include enhanced background checks on those under the age of 21. Now, at least 10 Republicans so far have signaled their report, which would be enough to pass the Senate. House Democrats have signaled their their support as well. However, it falls far short of the gun control measures that were passed last week in the House. I think it's progress for the country, and I think the, the, the bipartisan group has done the best they can to get total support. We need to know before somebody walks in and buys a firearm when they turn 18 what their mental health and criminal record history looks like to the extent feasible. And that's why we want to harden all structures just like we harden the airports and our, our courthouses. Uh, you're safe going there. Our children should be safe in their schools as well. And Kendis and Maribel, negotiators acknowledge that they still have a long road ahead of them. They still have to write the bill and pass it before the compromise runs into any snacks. We're live in Miami. I'm Deborah Souverain, CBS4 This Morning.